who we are. See if these mics are hot. Mics are ready. Is your your headphones on? Yeah. No. No, they're not. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Uh, that's why. All right. Whatever. We're there. Let's see where we wanna be. See if it's uh, people. Can you put the um put the well, no, 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 you know what? Let me do it. Let me see. No, no, no. Let me see something. Because I want to see if the feed is going through. What? What? Early. Yeah. Yeah. Is it clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are oh, we good? What? So um, oh yeah, they gonna please? They gonna smoke the shit out of? Them. Yeah. Even if they go around too, I don't think they're gonna get any pulls. They're fucking little bad. Too. Yo, I laugh because fucking yo, Lance Stevenson is jokes, bro. Yeah, bro. He's always me on the forty side. He is jokes. <laughs> yeah, he 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 could always get LeBron. He go regardless of the fact, he'll always find a way to get LeBron's head. Yeah, he'll get in his head. That's all he needs to do. Let's get it started. Woo-hoo! Yo, that's the fucking bot. Yo, that shit is ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself, boy. Corey's there. Under the right tradition of the man, must have made him get off his feet. He's like, what the hell? Wakanda! Good save, brother. It's like, nice, nice try, dick. Oh, God. Have one of the great Cody 2 ones. Look at the top. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Oh God help us all again. This only happened to Indians. I mean, oh hey. Oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like It seems like it though. I'm gonna order sushi tonight. I don't give a fuck what you know. It's time for me to get on my luck. Oh, he's doing bars right now. Every single day on my way. You know, I wonder if the music is going to play through, too. Hmm. I didn't try that together. Man. All right. There you go. Yeah. I'll share this shit. Some guy on the press is right. We're just putting the friend zone on national television. Did no, did you see the guy who, um, who, um, who, who tried to, to, to ask this girl to the prom and she's like, no. Yeah, yeah. She's like, no. I was uh, like, oh, you bitch. You say yes and then say no back. All right, guys. We're about to go. I'm about to keep sharing this shit, so. It's so weird. I don't even know your, um, they call God War Disappointed Father Simulator 18. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let me just minimize this for a second. Boom, boom. Ah, mother. All right, there he goes. Is this? Are we gonna have a problem here? Are we having problems? Right, let's get it. Great job, buddy. The voodoo priest is so young. Yay. Extra, extra, read all about it. Take a gander at Turbuckle Tabloid. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world's greatest Royal Rumble of podcasting at <laughs> in Saudi Arabia, Glendale, Queens, New York. <laughs> wow. 
That was something, man. Um, that was something. Matt, else. Matt is like, um, yeah, um, that's nothing but an over budget house I, show. I'm saying it. I'm saying it here, here before we do the review. I'm gonna say it again on the review. That show was a live event on a budget, a twenty million dollar budget, budget, actually. No, um, they had a lot. They had fucking fireworks and everything. They had a belt. They had a fucking trophy. Well, oh, they, Mr. Well, McMahon, I want to make sure that you bring everything with you. You bring the whole, the whole shebang. shebang. <laughs> I want the whole shit back. I want the title belt. I want. I want the trophy. I want the fireworks. And, boom, boom. And please, that man Braun Strowman, lovely man, lovely, and lovely man. Yo, let me, yo, that's, yo, they had cush, like cushion yeah, seats. They had Everybody. This, they had the seats where the fucking girl of honor and the Sweet Sixteen sit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the, the girl from a quinceanera yeah, sits down. Quinceanera sits down. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, the quinceanera seat. But that shit was cool though because like. I liked early on, like the, the fans were really into that shit, but we'll it get into died, it more of it. But quickly. yeah, but so, we'll talk about the whole review yeah. during wrestling rundown. But we are, we are the, the the world's greatest Royal Rumble here on um, wrestling podcast. Yeah, there's only two we competitors. We don't need fifty. Yeah, dude. Yo, I was sitting there going, "Damn, this shit's gonna finish tomorrow." Shit. Yeah. Uh, it's like what the I had fuck? Work, so fuck that. I only watched like the match till. Totally. I only watched a few matches in, then I had to fucking go to um motherfucking work. But not for nothing, it was kind of cool to watch um Television, wrestling, wrestling at, at that 12, time at twelve o'clock. Right, it was kind of cool. cool. I needed to take a nap though, but it was. <laughs> this week is full of many things, guys. Uh, we have a, we have a, we have Avengers coming this week. I'm seeing it today. Oh my Red god! Tomorrow. Oh, T- you, you think you're gonna cry? Um, I don't know about cry. Tears? Shed a tear. I, I don't know about that either. People said it's literally gonna be like it's it's. People said we are not ready for this film. So well, that's what I'm saying. Is like everybody sat there and they were talking about that. Um. Uh, when you thought something was gonna happen, it doesn't happen. I'm like, how much you want to bet? I call out some shit already that that happens in that movie, and I'm not gonna say anything. No, no, but I'm, I bet you I call. I'll be like, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> My ego will not allow me not to say. Here's the thing, though. Um, I actually got a few people, fans here on the show, asking us if we're doing a review for that movie. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's I fine. don't. I was like, we really don't do movie reviews, but uh, I feel like this. We find a way to like slide shit in, like. Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was like. I feel like this movie's an exception. I like, like, I want to do a review of Grease, one of the greatest I, musicals of all time. Like, I mean, we'll find a way to slide. Part one, the ball. <laughs> well, we'll we'll do a review because Batista's in it. Yay! There you go. See, you find a way to wrestling. Uh, Got to intertwine it. Yeah, find a, put a way in there. But, so uh, many fucking movies is coming out. Deadpool, oh, by the way, you heard about? You, you see my message? No. About the group. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we need to do that. That'd be cool, you know, bring the whole the whole crew the whole... and watch Deadpool two, get some lunch. Yeah, get some get some um some drinks in. Yeah, man. Because you know I like my drinks. Because because you know I was thinking to myself, I was like after 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 I'm going to Avengers with my mother, <laughs> I, I can't come to a realization. I need to we need to the rage you need something crew manly needs, to go on yeah, after the rage crew needs to come together. And so yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, let's let's fuck some hookers and drink while we watch watch Deadpool, Deadpool two. Yeah, fuck uh, that. I want my testicle to look like Deadpool's face. Yeah. Wow. I think it already does, to be honest. That's the look that I want going for me. But, uh, yeah, we should definitely do that. Um, A lot of movies coming out. So, are you going to watch Solo? Uh-huh, yes. Super, yeah, well, Solo's coming uh, out. Super producer S- Sally says she wants to go see it. So Solo, we got a bunch of things to watch. So, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. The, 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 the poster for that thing is mad funny. It's white, and you look mad close, and it's the like, ant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mad yeah. close. She's <laughs> like the ant and the wasp. It's like, great. But um, we're not here for movies right now. No. We're here for wrestling. By the way, did anybody uh, see the Bruno San Martino documentary? <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. We'll be, we'll be watching um Impact Redemption as well. Like we got that shit going on. Sue Young is getting her ass kicked. I Yo, mean, no, she's kicking ass, my fault. It's funny because this is probably like I mean I've I, I watched highlights of Impact, like on right. YouTube and shit like that. This is probably the first time I actually sat down and watched a Impact Matt um, so event in a in. while in a long time. What do you think? What do you think? Um I thought I, I'll probably save it for later on, but to be honest, like it wasn't bad, but I think it was very overly hyped. What is it not? Yeah, it was overly Impact hyped. Impact is the world of broken promises. Yeah, but it was it was it wasn't that bad. But other than that, welcome everybody to another episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid. I am your host Jay the Red Sante, and I'm the Fat Man Devonair Devastation, the Avenger, dismember himself, Fat Man Metfen Mat. I, I think you would be um, Captain Captain. Captain Obese. Uh, Captain Masturbator. Like, Yay! some shit like that. The be, Masturbator. The incredible, the bulk. incredible bulk. I'm the incredible bulk. <laughs> the insatiable bulk. The ridiculous bulk. <laughs> I'm, I'm King Petty. King Petty. Everyone's here like, 
Everyone's I'm here, Petty Murphy. Every, oh, jeez. <laughs> Everyone's here like, I'm so excited for the Avengers. I'm not excited for that shit as much as I'm excited for Venom. Man, let me tell you something. Ah, uh, nah, fuck this. I, I, honestly, somebody did a, actually a CGI uh, a change of what Venom should look like. Mm. And it's not bad, though. I'll find it for you. It's not a bad rendering. I think they should. They could have went a little bit deeper with it. Right. But who knows? Because we don't know. Yeah, we don't know what the fuck is going to happen. But other than that, make sure you check us out on all social media outlets. Make sure you check us out on the like and group page on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter at Turnbuckle Tab. Also on Instagram at Turnbuckle Tabloid, as well as on YouTube at TRSS Turnbuckle Tabloid. And on Anchor with that on TRSS Turnbuckle Tabloid as well. And on our Twitch, where we also have uploads we've uh, just uploaded this week uh week two of raw with the shakeup occurring uh, on our twitch page also on youtube and um get us on google play and itunes man just uh search turbo cool tabloid that's where we be that's where we live more more coming that way as well y'all bitches better get ready because we about to scare you motherfuckers get it out there numbers are looking real good you guys have been participating much love much, much, love, love. much love and also um uh, more more stuff coming our way via uh, uh, commentary and other things. We'll let you guys know when that occurs. So, uh, also, Keith Hernandez giving the finger at a Met game. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Keith Hernandez, please. That that man was a thirty year cocaine. He don't give a shit. <laughs> so, and n- not allegedly, it is facts. Um, <laughs> facts. So, guys, like I said, make sure you check us out on all those social media outlets and as well as on RageWorks.net. RageWorks.net is where you get everything under one umbrella. Uh, why not why not to just bookmark us and do everything you need to do right there this is where this is where the money at i mean honestly please you want movies check tv shows check pop culture of course um reviews or video games and previews <laughs> rageworks.net god we got porn. that what's wrong porn coming soon yeah there you go porn coming soon. before we start the show I uh, I need to say a little congratulations, or I think the congratulations are in order. Are they? They are for you, sir. Oh, uh, thank spring you. Spring is in the air. Love is in the air. I think spring has has passed us by. Spring has passed us by. It's in the way. It's coming. Isn't and it going to be like eighty next week or some shit? Eighty five like next Wednesday. Wednesday. God, um, fucking yeah, I that shit. But one thing is changing this summer of twenty eighteen. Yes. Our own Jay the Red Santi will be moving. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you. Finally, I'll be out of this fucking hellhole. Finally out of his domain. As many times as you, you guys have probably heard me cry and bitch and moan about this apartment for the longest that, time. That, that was our WWE two K storyline. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and it's over. I finally found a place, and it's not too far away. It's and right it has, up the block. It has a balcony. Yes. You'll be seeing us do episodes from outside. the balcony. We can do our post show outside. Yeah, I'll put the camera on the For podium. real, that'd be hilarious. That'd be actually yeah. really good. Cool. I want to see you guys. Um, Make it a promo area. <laughs> I want you guys to see uh, the lovely, the lovely uh, uh, view that we have here. The lovely streets of Ridgewood. Look, I, I, I want you to see the, the, the lady outside collecting cans. One Corona, Corona. two Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to come in the house today. Some lady was like counting the cans for money, and Red put Red's a chair. No, no one ever tell me Red doesn't donate money. <laughs> I'm very charitable. She was like one corona, two corona. Whoa, like, oh, shit, whoa, four corona. <laughs> she was like five, six. You might as well say this guy's a fucking alcoholic. Yeah, alcoholic. She threw can- so many cans in there that it was like fucking a Santa throwing kids out, she <laughs> out for, for presents for kids. Hey. But- but get back somehow. It, it is no, make a wish week. Mark. Yeah, right. <laughs> we got to give back somehow, some way. So you're at finally out of the house. Uh, it, you're gonna be moving very soon. You ha- you're getting the keys when Monday. Monday, I get the keys Monday. Balcony. We're getting more room in the studio for oh, the fat back to come in. Oh, uh, I get to finally entertain the proper way that I want to. Everybody's like, "Yeah, I've been to your house." I'm like, "Yeah, no, there's there's a reason for that." How's the living room situation? It's nice. It's nice. It's not. It's you know, I I, I we were spoiled for my last apartment, right, right? But for you know, for this place, it's it's decent. It's nice. I wouldn't have wanted it if I didn't if Thank I didn't you. think it was good for us. Good. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be real cool, real laid back. Awesome. Yeah, super excited for that. Bro. Oh fucking yeah, shit! It's, it's gonna it's you think it's gonna be good to host, host uh, have some. Uh, the pernie parties and shit. Oh yeah, fuck uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we back in we back in business, baby. Yeah. We back in business. WrestleMania, Summer Oh, SummerSlam. Summer oh. Be a situation. Oh shit. The only thing I'm upset about is that I fucking um I um I ordered an AC. Oh, yes, no, yes. But I God. ordered an AC for here. Uh so I'm thinking it's too it might be too big. 
Ooh. Because you know the way it's set well, you up. Know what you could do? You could, my, my shave mother, it? No. My is too big too. We put wooden planks in between the air. No, no, no. Is this that? Um, it's not for the window. We have for the new apartment. They have AC vents, like the like the slide ins, yeah. like underneath the window. So I gotta find out if it fits. Oh, oh that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, it's gonna be like fucking Braun Strowman trying to go into an airplane bathroom. It's gonna be that fucking <laughs> tight. It's gonna be like Andre the Giant trying to get into a fu- get on a a a, a, a tricycle. Did they say be... in the in the documentary that Andre the Giant had a shit in a bag and they think they dumped they it? Had in the ride, they had to put a curtain around him so he could take a shit. And then they threw the shit in the toilet and they fucking flushed it. <laughs> That's what they said. That's disgusting. <laughs> Can you imagine I'm having not... to be the motherfucker that had to? Put that. Hey, you, hey, honey, how was your job today? I don't know. I had to fucking throw shit from a giant. There's this mythical creature that was on my plane. <laughs> I had to pick up his. I had, I had a pooper scoop up his shit. They were like, "Oh, excuse me. I think he's had too much to drink." Yeah. No, he was a fucking giant. It looked like he shit a donkey. It was humongous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He shit out an Easter bunny for a chocolate rabbit. <laughs> this is horrible. Please, yeah, God yeah. help us. So, guys. This week we have a story. Not a lot to talk about. Got a lot to full of yeah. buster with this week. Probably gonna be a short, a short ended episode, but it's still an episode nonetheless because we don't take breaks, motherfucker. Never take a break. Never take a break. Never take breaks, motherfucker. The promo this week is dedicated to haphazard loser fucking titles. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the failure of championships. You wanna know why? The Universal Championship is dead, ladies. That shit is that fucking shit is washed. washed. Rest in peace. I would rather ha- I would rather hold. The women's championship as a man. Facts though, that shit is man, washed. That shit. So they, we're gonna they go They need back to time. make up a fucking a new belt. And we actually might be talking about that Russell Wim down. Um, we so we're gonna discuss the failure of championships, the demise of championships, people who have killed the championships like Brock Lesnar himself. <laughs> and um, I, what, what belts died with them? Yeah, who has died with them? Um, we will discuss that and all. Plus, we have running the ropes trivia. For oh, here. the theme. Is there championships? A oh, really? You found one with yeah, championships. championships? Nice. You actually did some work this week. Yeah, well, you did some research. I, I, I did also, we're gonna review um the world's greatest Royal Rumble, 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 also known as the pay per view that couldn't. Yeah, the live event on a budget. I liked it. Not a lot, but I liked it. Not a lot. <laughs> but Botchamania got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do this week. And plus, we got Matthew Rumble. got a lot of work to do yeah. this week. We got wrestling rundown, and we got Raw and SmackDown review, two hundred five live, NXT the whole nine yards, the whole shit bang. And I'll talk about um since I'm watching and you're not, you didn't really watch it. I'll I'll tell you about Impact uh, Redemption. Redemption. Awesome. So listen, we're getting a good show. I, it's actually funny because people actually would hit me up and it was like, "Yo, did you watch um Impact Redemption?" I was like, "Uh, do you have the link for that?" I was like, "Are you <laughs> fucking serious?" People are actually a- asking for links for Impact, Impact Redemption. Redemption. I'd rather shit myself. Exactly. With in fuck- the plane. Yeah. And have somebody throw it out for me. Yeah, that's a, that's living the lifestyle, man. Shit, that's fucking amazing. All right, guys, so don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll be back with all the shenanigans and buffoonery that is us here at Turbuckle Tabloid. We'll return with Turbuckle Tabloid with your hosts, Peter Red Santi and FN Max. So yeah, it's a Saturday afternoon, and look at this! Look at this fucking Alberto Del Rio wannabe fucking. Oh God! Get out! Get the fuck out, he, Alberto! He, get he out! Got, he got fired, right? Yeah, he's done. So, the fuck out! Get out! You're out! No one likes you anymore. He's gonna go back to lucha, probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nobody likes you anymore. Get out! You're not wanted here anymore, sir. Mm. Pentagon's man, Pentagon's work, like, dude, is nice. Yeah, and they fucking they fucked it up. You got squashed. You got squashed. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. So, uh, yeah. Let me just set this up. We're going to be going to Twitch really soon. We just check, I was just checking out the camera this week. And so far, so good. The audio is coming off very well here. I know I know somebody, somewhere somebody's going, um, oh, man. It's what? What? There's a possibility right now the Knicks are sending sending Frank Nilakina, Tim Hardaway Jr. and 20, 2018 first round pick for Kawhi Leonard, and it's it's possibly likely because you know Popovich's rule: don't trade the I don't trade the Western Conference. Fuck out of it, which is a very smart rule, which yeah. I think should be done for everyone. I don't trade it. Yeah, I don't trade and help people in my my fucking division. Get the fuck out of here. No, you ain't lying. Yo, the Knicks can have Porzingis and Leonard together. 
Yeah, and situation. and and other possibilities that can occur in the off season. Yep, yep, yep. Who knows? Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, God, yeah. Or Paul George. Who knows? He could also be going to the Bucks. Who? Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. I don't see that. He's going to the Kumbo. Mm. That doesn't make sense. Depending on how they work out this this uh this um this off season, the Bucks will get out the first How's round. What doing? Oh. Um, I'm 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 getting good looks. People people are noticing my balls. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yo, I understand what you're saying now. Everyone's saying you lost mad weight. It's kind of getting fucking annoying. It's like, getting oh, annoying. I was that much of a fat back. I'm like, cut that shit out. I, I no no joke. I'm down like 28. I was with my um. Two twelve. All right. So I'm getting that's what there. I'm talking about, buddy. Yeah, man. I was talking to my um. Situationship. My situationship, and I was like, um, she goes, what? She goes, oh, oh. Getting thin there, bro. I said, "Why well, you want to take a ride on this on the on the new uh, model?" Oh, you want to take a ride on the new model, B? Yeah. <laughs> she did. <laughs> sure, enough, sure enough, she did. But yeah, so guys, who fucked up titles? Honestly, that's what it is. What it is? Who fucked up titles? Christian. <laughs> Christian. Christian. Christian gets a lot of bullshit, man. He does, man. David Adams here. God help us all. Ear rape. <laughs> Ear rape. All right. Let's do the play in and. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. Turnbuckle Tabloid is back with Jay Santi and Mr. Young, White, and Privileged. Turnbuckle Tabloids, cutting a promo. Yeah, it's funny because we were talking about it last episode, and it seems as though that the fucking... um. The the universal title is is worthless. It's shit. It, um, it, it's become um nothing. It's, I'm gonna be it's, honest. It's a fruit roll up. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you real quick. Uh, the Undertaker versus Rusev match. Yeah. Right. The casket match. Right. You open that casket today. What do you think? It, what do you, what, what's in it? The universal. You, you think it's Rusev? The you know. You know what's in there? The casket. That shit's dead. Uh, with not being def- with, with being defended maybe four times a year and never being seen on television or live events, Universal Championship has turned from Kevin Owens making it good. To absolute shit, and um, it's sad, man. It's really sad that you see it. It's horrible. Like now, everybody's like, "Oh, but what about when um, CM Punk had the belt? CM Punk was around, and he was there every day. Yeah, he, he was. was every week. He made it relevant. If Brock was there every week, I wouldn't fucking mind. When he had the title, and then then he's he's retaining these the the, the belt in the most ridiculous ways of fucking retaining. Sooner or later, he's going to win by fucking... Uh... Somebody's going to have to shoot him. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Duck hunt. For real. Like this. Somebody's going to have to pull out and just either stab him in the middle of the ring and pin him. Like, this is ridiculous. No joke, though. The thing is, he's... Next next, next victory he's going to have, he's going to win by throwing lucky trumps in someone's eyes. Yeah. Or, like, some cereal or something. We need to do, like, some old-school uh, Mr. Fuji throw salt in the face. They haven't done that shit in, like, years. They yeah, do they that, that, do that shit again. But, um, powder. Now... No, I actually did that to somebody. I did that to my cousin. I threw, oh, did you? I threw salt in his eyes. Ah! ah! Yo, it was fucking jokes. So. Oh, oh my god! He was blind for like fifteen minutes. That's that blind for fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. I've been watching a lot of Doctor Doctor Phil, and some girl actually blinded herself by um by putting some the, the cleaning Clorox thing in her eyes. What the she, fuck? She, she thinks that being blind is not um a disability. She thinks being blind is um a blessing and truly. A way of life. Oh, that's a she's one of my patients. She's got to be on my girl. <laughs> that I, bitch is crazy. But um, Universal Championship is dead, and uh, this coming kind of promo will def- is definitely dedicated to the ones who have killed or, excuse me, other championships. The first person who comes to mind that has killed the championship to you, Christian. Who, Christian. Christian killed the world. The big. The big gold. He uh, killed the heavyweight championship. Yeah, and it's not his fault though. I'm, uh, yeah, it's not it, his fault it's though. It's not. It's just like they made him look like a pussy. The entire fucking storyline. Um. Uh, 
he was not the right guy for the right moment to have that belt. They were so desperate to, for a belt. I think the brand split wasn't really done that properly there right. at, at that time either because they, they were making Christian a main guy. And it's like, mm. well, that and the fact that um, uh, uh, he just came out of TNA. He had a nice run there. Yeah, Christian some, Cage. Yeah, he, he was some, actually. I think his run was way better in TNA than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had he, because they made him the man. Yeah, like, right. And they had confidence with him. You know, there was actually a fucking a story in which Vince McMahon did not like his face, so they wanted he wanted it to be that they could put a blue dot over his face whenever he res, whenever he wrestled. What an ass! <laughs> what a fucking asshole! Yeah, Vince, don't fucking cover your shot. Yeah, 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 but you know, you're you're pursued. So yeah, I think Christian made it, um he started making that belt very uh, irrelevant. Not going to say irrelevant, but it not worthy of being considered a legit title. Yeah, no, the World Heavyweight Championship went from being Triple H versus Batista during my time. A very good belt. I felt that belt was. I like that belt more than WWE Championship at some time. Yeah, that with the storyline of Triple H having that belt, he looked. It was a fucking good look, man. And that went from. Main eventing WrestleMania to opening the damn show, which I'm sorry, but opening the cha- opening the show in a World Heavyweight Championship match is no bueno to me. So that belt, <laughs> that belt is dead. For me, next, I would personally say that the 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 ECW Championship was dead after what two weeks of the program. Uh, <laughs> um, ever since, who, well, let's look back at the ECW Championship. Yeah, there you go. Um. Let's look back at the ECW Championship at the latest era, real quick. Who was the first winner of that? That was Rob Van Dam. I believe, so, yeah. That was good. That made sense. Okay. When the belt started becoming, when ECW started becoming the low key NXT before NXT was a thing, right? It sucked ass. And I, I think the per- <laughs> the first person to completely, I'm not gonna lie, Big Show's run with it was very good. Yes. Big Show made that belt very prestigious. Once it became, once it went to Vince McMahon, and then Vince McMahon gave it to the youngin, Elijah Burke, <laughs> even CM Punk North at that time. Was it also um, Chavo Guerrero? Uh, 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 Morrison. Morrison, Chavo Guerrero. I'm sorry, but that shit would croak. Went to the pooper. <laughs> Did you have any hope in that championship when no, it first one came out? No. Like, what, what were your initial reactions when they when they released? No, that? I first never. Of the belt looked ugly as fuck. That was like a. Silver, silver dollar pancake. Yeah, that and the fact that um. Oh, Akil Jackson. He was the last like, one. Get the fuck out of here, Mark Henry. Uh, so, what was your initial reaction to uh, when that belt was released? Oh, uh, it was did, AIDS. Did you accept the the fate of the death of that belt automatically, or did you? Yeah, like I was already like, I, I was already done with it. Like I, I even before I jumped out the the, the, the fucking Tommy the Dreamer. Stable, Tommy like, Dreamer. Well, you know, you got to think about it. CCW had already the stigma they had before, and everybody thought it was going to be the same way. And especially the way that the story tells of what Shane wanted to do with the promotion. Right. Like he wanted to be an exclusive uh, internet show and wanted to still have the hardcore stuff going on. But Vince was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to make it the, uh, the minor league for the WWE brand. It's like, that shit sucks. That sucks. And that yes. championship looked like shit. They, they didn't even have tag titles there. No, no they had one belt. That was it. They had one belt. They didn't even have it. And they had the strip expose. Like, all right. All right. That shit, that shit went to hell. I remember when I went to a SmackDown taping. Um, a long time ago, long, long time ago. That was when Kane was probably like, in the World Heavyweight Championship picture mm-hmm. on SmackDown. Uh, ECW recorded previous. ECW, well, of course, like, you know, it went, it went, it recorded. I think after or right. after SmackDown, like like um, Two Five Love does now. Um, everyone left. I might I add, everyone left, and um, people were chanting, "This show sucks." And I clearly remember it being the Miz versus John Morrison in a fucking ECW match. <laughs> Extreme Rules, the only thing that came up was a chair. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> that shit blew. So I think, the, I think the death of that whole brand came with the championship. Well, that and the fact that fucking um, when Benoit died, that shit was like... That yeah, shit was rough. Because he, they tried making him the face. And Kurt Angle, when Kurt Angle went to ECW, he was pissed. Mm. He, that was the end of his career at WWE for a while, too. Uh, the death of another belt, the Cruiserweight belt, was when it was given to fucking Gilbert. Oh, yes, yes. The Cruiserweight championship. Yes. Do you think it was ruined then? Yeesh. Oh, is it cruiserweight or light heavyweight? I think it was light heavyweight. Man. Yeah, that, that, that. Cruiser, cruiserweight was pretty valid. It had um Jamie Noble. It had the whole Matt Hardy. No, I think it was like I think it was a light heavyweight that they, they had it as. It was um, yeah. It, it, uh, <laughs> even when um Noble had it, it was still a thing to where it's like still needed to have fucking legit 
guys going up against it. And in that era, it was just like they were already phasing out the fucking cruiserweights. They didn't really. I, I remember when they had the 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 cruiserweight titles, oh, the cruiserweight title matches, attack titles. It was uh um who was it? It was um Kendrick and um was it no who didn't they have it? Weapon? The 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 cruiserweight title, like the tag titles or some shit like that. No, I don't think so. It wasn't that I thought it was um um uh Kendrick and this fucking there had it. Um, and Paul London. Or was that the SmackDown titles? That was the SmackDown title. It was just like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually had a dream last night that Paul London and Brian Kendrick were back in the company. Why the fuck are you dreaming about the fucking wrestlers? I don't know. You fucking weirdo. I'm a mark. <laughs> um, here's my f- the hardcore title. The hardcore title. You know, a lot of people are fans of that title. I can't stand when, that when belt. That, when that show went twenty four seven, I think it was like. You think that's what killed it? That's what killed it. It's for the fact that like it became more of a gimmick more than a fucking legit prestigious belt that you need to win. That belt, first off, I don't know why people want. I want to buy a replica. Um, just grab a make piece your of own of, shit. And, yeah, grab a piece of trash and. It's one Corona, do Corona, tape it to the fucking to the leather, and you'll be I all right. I was never, I wasn't a fan of that shit. I really wasn't. Do you remember? Do you remember who the person was to kill it? Do you think it was? Uh, or it, it was whoever a had it fuck. the it was, most, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a cluster fuck. Then like had, Crash Hardy, uh, Crash, Crash, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Crash have it like the most. Yeah. <laughs> it's like get the fuck out of here. That shit was the cluster fuck championship. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like fuck out of here. And then we had. Um, what do you think of the Divas Championship? I was there when the first match. Oh, that, that shit was that, fucking AIDS. I hate it. Once you went and made that uh, that. Butterfly AJ belt. Lee made it good. I think it was more of her. I think I think she made the belt, not the belt made her. I think, right. I think you know it's, it was that sort of thing. But that belt was so ugly. Um, that belt. I don't know who made that shit. That's literally the pussiest belt I've ever seen on the planet. <laughs> Even Sully didn't want that shit. So, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying, but um, the Divas Championship was like uh, yeah, like it was, it was like I think everybody had it at least one Michelle fucking McCool, time. Nikki Bella, Alicia Bella, Fox, Fox had, had that Fox shit. had that shit. Everyone had it because that that was when the the. Divas Revolution was shit. That yeah. was when Divas were crap. Um, the Intercontinental Championship never got ruined. Okay. Do, can you agree? Uh, was there a certain where Intercontinental but was like, wow, this shit sucks? Mm, no. No, not really. The United States People, is a different story. You did, were you a fan of the European title? Not really, no. no. I kind of wanted it back to see what the whole... Because we have a lot of foreign people now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it would make sense now to have it, but... No, the European title. I don't William know. Regal. No, 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 no. <laughs> and it's like become. It, it, it's been a thing to now. Like besides Jeff Hardy, like anybody who had the United States title recently, yeah. they're not even fucking American. No, they're not. <laughs> it's like it's but like Russo, the service. Yeah. Yo, they Bobby Roode. He's Canadian. Yeah. It's like <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's be honest here. Jane like, Hall, he's, he's Indian. Indian. Yeah, he's, he's Canadian too. He's yeah. actually he's, he's Canadian. He's originally from Canada. Yeah, it's like he's the modern. Day. Hey, Canadian Marcia, uh, the modern day Marty Raja from Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But when it um championships and we I want more belts. All right. We're gonna talk about a possibility of a new belt coming soon, but um don't if it's off television like Brock is, it is ripperoni, man. Like um I'll give you one more example of a championship that I personally think died and it's been dead for a long time. The United States Championship. You think so? Yeah, it, the, the belt looks terrible. Uh, it does need a. It does need the a. The belt new, needs a new yeah, face. It doesn't need a new the face. The belt is so old. The, it, it's, it's, it's a thing where the people are right. The people are in the right place. The people, the, the people aren't the problem here. Okay, they have nice. They have good people in the storyline for it. The belt itself is just so unattractive and old and rusty that it's like I don't care for it. Right. It's like such a thin little piece of shit. Like I want a nice God bless America belt. Right. With Trump on it. I'm kidding. What? I don't want his ass on that shit. Made in America that says buy South Koreans. Yeah. Like, ooh. Hey. Ooh. Uh, what? What? Hardball. Too early. Hardball with Chris Matthews. Uh, but the people aren't the problem with that belt. The the look of the belt. That's also a main thing. The look of the belt. People hated the Universal Championship before it was even won. Come back to SummerSlam because the look. When Finn Balor had the championship, it goes this belt sucks. This belt sucks. But mm. it proves again and again. Well, this reminds me of, like we're looking at Impact now. That fucking what's that? That Grand Slam that fucking. Shit looks- Awful. That shit is god. That is just one of the worst idiots. belts ever. I don't know why they have, they have like an octagon shit, like it's fucking UFC or something. They changed every other belt, but not they changed all the other belts, but that shit. That's cool though. That's a, it. Looks like a pretty good match, to be honest. Yeah, with no, you. this like, match is this match is legit, but like they changed. They almost fucking killed themselves doing that shit. <laughs> um, they they changed all those other belts except for that shit. That shit looks terrible. Yeah, they should they should they should cut it and just call the television championship. That shit is just AIDS with a strap on it. That shit is disgusting. But they don't even need that belt though. They have the X division. 
Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what do you want? It's because them trying to chase that whole fucking um, MMA UFC field and shit. That's well, what the fuck you it know, is. that shit is going down. To the, he's holding it just to hold it. That shit is in the ground. <laughs> uh, but what do you guys think? What belts do you have? I am not a fan of six-man titles. I can't. There you go. I can't stand them shits. Six-man titles. Oh, my God. Six-man team matches. I, I go love Ring of Honor, but I can't stand six-man titles. The matches when they're. Just like in New Japan, I can't stand I them can't, I can't take six-man tags. Like, yo, if you tell me the. Yo, I'm not going to lie. This week, this week on Monday Night Raw, don't ask me about the main event. <laughs> don't just don't. I know the I know the anyone Ronda Rousey. Don't ask me about the, the specifics of that match. I didn't fucking watch it. Like who would do that? Who gives a fuck? That's like that's like taping me to a chair with my eye my, my eyelids open. Watching they were actually torture. They were, they were actually getting every everybody excited for the world's greatest Royal Rumble. Which <laughs> speaking of belts, did you see that belt? Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. It's like a, <laughs> uh, we have the you know, we have the red fruit roll up. We have the lemon lime green green apple. I'm waiting for up. all these potheads to fucking get it so I can put weed plants on <laughs> it and shit. That's all I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for all these fucking potheads to do that <laughs> shit. Fucking mark. It's the 420 belt, man. It's 420. I'm just so fucking high, man. I'm the king pot smoker, bitches. What a trip, yeah. That's fucking trippy, man. <laughs> fucking trippy. But yeah, man. Oh, all right. Venus. Whatever, whatever, whatever belts, whatever things you good, you guys come on. Uh, what killed it? What makes it hideous? What makes it horrible? <sighs> when we come back, we're having uh, our review of the greatest Royal Rumble, as well as all the shit. That trivia, going on. <laughs> trivia, wrestling rundown, and Raw SmackDown review. Oh wow! Oh, the, that's right, the trivia. See you guys in a sec. We'll be back with Turnbuckle Tabloid with Jay the Red Santi and the Shrimp. All right, guys, we out of here. Got to finish the episode. Maddie got to go see Avengers. He's about to run out of here soon, and uh, I'm watching it tomorrow. So, guys, check out the episode. Be out tomorrow. And to my one dick riding fan who was in the room, you wish you could get views and fucking comments like us. Oh, he's, 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 uh, dick rider. You know what's funny? He's such a big dick rider because one view, right? You know why we have one view? Yeah. It's was A, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and B, I had it on on private for half the episode. Uh, That's why. But he, he made a comment? Yeah, he made a comment. My biggest fan, the biggest dick rider. I swear to God, I should have had a turnstile on it like a New York City fucking MTA subway so you could be a fucking Metrocard on my cock. Oh my god, that was awesome! Fucking dick ride. Wait, he's on. He's on right now. Yeah, he was on. He, he was there. He left. Yeah, he's on my dick. All right, do me a favor. Get get off my dick. Blow so, peach. Uh, yeah, fucking fanoksha. All right, guys. See you guys next week. We out of here. We'll give you guys our review of what um Bati did in the Avengers. Oh God, yeah. We out of here. Later. Later.